Greetings, this is Bloodrill and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Age, Act 1. Alrighty, let's see what we have is here. Is this your secret stink for attracting Mog Chathra? Uh, it's my grandmother's traditional cocktail of musk, pheromones, and animal sweat. And I'm not sharing it with anybody. Well, I don't need it anyway. Daddy says I exude it naturally. Okay. Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? Not as much as they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> hey, can I have some of that perfume? That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Mm. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? <laughs> That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. All right. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. I want to be in the Maiden's Beast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mom oh. Ha! <laughs> Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it, in this outfit, just standing here. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chakra gets here. Oh. I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. See you maidens later. Ciao! Alrighty then. Let's go up. This looks nice. A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn. Wow. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh yeah. Halt. But the dead eye god sees no one. All right. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb I'm testing a theme the here. Dead Eye God. As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It just looks mm. cool. It does? We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. All right. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the Riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. 
Yeah. Bring us the solution, and you may enter the pyramid. All right. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm. Sounds promising. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. Why? If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Uh... Okay. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Something, something to read? <laughs> We're blind! Oh, how is she not getting that? Hey, can I get you guys something? <laughs> like what? Yeah, that's funny. Mm. Maybe a refreshing beverage? No thanks, I've got a flask of barnacle juice under this robe. Diet barnacle juice over here. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? Some more holy tear gas? Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Cool. Can I go inside? All right. You wish to invade yes, our Yes, we said that. <laughs> because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool, but no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No one. Well. Okay. Yes. Bye. All right. Sense you later. Do I have anything? Uh. Does Driftwood ever have children? What? No. Hey, excuse me. I'm not a wood scientist. Uh, all right, yeah. Check it out, fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit with a pit inside. Oh my god, it's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. Really? <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Great guards. I'm going in. Okay. Alright. Wow. Really colorful. I Let's wonder see. what that symbol means. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. Guess this is where they buried their old god. Guess this is where they is buried this their old god. Everything interactable? There's that symbol again. Like that symbol? That you symbol mean? is so strange, but familiar. Hmm. The top of this pyramid is transparent. That is three legs, so a circle, and something there. A head. What is that a symbol of? A three-legged bull? Ah. It's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. Mm. I don't think that will fit in this socket. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything. All right. Can I go elsewhere? No. This is the only... yeah, I think it's the only... Alright, I think I'm missing this. Uh, maybe I can uh, get this... to that guy and have him made him... made me a symbol. 
perhaps. I'll bet I can make a million off of this idea. Where do I get the holy by the way grenade and uh, whatever? Let's cut this yeah, ribbon already. You tell them, non maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Hmm. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Yeah, it works today. And we fill it with that. Okay, easy does it. Come to me, old chum. Really, you can. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Why? You. This stuff is like love potion for seagulls. Okay, I guess if we need to attract seagulls somewhere, we're gonna use that. Found some driftwood down by the beach. That's morbid. But at least it's natural and hasn't been perverted by you humans. Alright, let's go in there. Like where can you go anywhere else? What was he saying about the snake? I'm not sure. Hello. Hi. Hey, Bella. Uh, hey, okay. about this art. Yeah. What is it? Well, you know, it's abstract. Oh, it's, it's a three-legged cool. uh, thingy. Uh huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of her work. <laughs> How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Well, this guy's Why do you have it up, then? I only had it up there ironically. But I was actually <laughs> getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. All right. Beware the trees. I guess I'm getting this. Okay, I'm taking this. And this cool. looks I like, like it, but stuff when I was your age too. Hmm, not sure. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh. man. Man, I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, <laughs> um, whew, that's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times stool better. Burns. Thanks yeah. for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Good. <laughs> yeah, face. Yeah, that was funny. Nothing. All right. So we got the. You know that Curtis looks like such leggings. a slacker, but he sure can bust out a solid stool. What's this supposed to be? A little man with a bad haircut? I guess at first glance. I don't think this art needs a crystal element. I don't think that will improve this art. Putting shoes on a ladder was all the mm. stool looks better without it. Fine. So we got the stool. Which I guess will make the tree buff. Is there anything else? No, I don't think so.
Yeah, don't see any other exits. But he said the... Uh, hmm. People can go... Oh, stop it. Wait. Huh. Wait, is this east? West? That is a really territorial snake indeed. Can this takes a good breath? This is a weird snake. Okay, so do not go that way. Got it. But what else is new? Everything is weird in this world. All right, hello. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! <laughs> Alright, can wow. I get it? It's getting thicker every second. Strong stuff, kid. Don't mess with it. I don't want to get it stuck. I may not like this art piece, but I don't mm. want to ruin fish guts and barf. That's just over the line. Why ruin this pretty crystal sun? I don't want to ruin them with sap. Yeah, I don't think I need the I, I don't think I need the bucket. Get it stuck. Alright, let's go see if we can trade something for that goddamn thing. Same things. It looks yes. great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away. Uh, all right. I guess that's one way to do it. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Those shell maidens won't share their monster bait with me. Please, that's terrible. I know. They won't give me a single drop. No, I mean it's terrible what a tattletale you are. No yeah. perfume will cover up poor sportsmanship, young lady. I don't really get back to the feast. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. I'm not sure why I'm this up, but whatever. Can you hear me up there? This is also something I feel an adventure game should do better. And some of them do. You can't pick up objects before you actually have a need for them. Which is uh, nice because picking up everything you see. Always made no sense to me. Hmm. It's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. Oh, what? Scoop it up. Oh, really? Makes no sense, but whatever. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? You can still see the grain of the wood. <laughs> Quite a okay. nose you got there. Don't touch it! You'll make me... What, barf? No! Thick! I was going wow, to say the sap is super thick. It's super thick. Why would thick. I gunk up my so... picking it sticky? It won't make it... I don't want to ruin its new bucket of tree no barf idea. smell. No idea. We'll see, I guess. In the next episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment if you want to. And I will see you next time.